I don't know what you guys think, but for my personal taste, this hat is a little bit boring. Luckily for me, I have the perfect tools to decorate this hat and turn it from boring blank white hat to a beautiful colorful masterpiece. So in today's episode, you're gonna see how I'm gonna get that done. All right, so as always, I just wanna remind you guys that if you have any questions at all throughout the video, to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you with an answer. And I also wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed so far. If you are new to our channel, welcome. If you have not subscribed yet, then I highly recommend clicking subscribe so you can get notified whenever we post new content. All right, so before we jump into the machine embroidery portion, let's talk a little bit about caps and their construction. So generally speaking, there are two types of caps. That is unstructured and structured, and today I'm gonna show you both. So let's start off with unstructured caps. Now, unstructured caps, um, as you can see, don't have any structure in the back, and therefore they can easily be stretched and manipulated, which means, um, which is good news for machine embroiderers because that means that you can get it flat and embroider it on a flat hoop. If you do want to see how you can embroider a cap like this um, on a flat hoop, then you can watch a video that I will link. It's how to embroider a cap on a 4x4 hoop. Now, there are other types of hats like this one that are going to be nearly impossible to get flat. And even if you try, by all means, it's going to be too thick to hoop and uh, you can damage it. So um, these caps, these structured caps, are um, gonna need a rounded surface in order to be able to embroider on, and therefore you need a specialty attachment. And um, that's what we're gonna talk about today is how to embroider using a cap attachment. And um, that's usually compatible with multi-needle machines. Um, and we're gonna switch over now really quickly so you guys can see how it works. So before we start the hooping process with the cap attachment so you guys can see how it works, I just wanna talk about the cap that we're gonna be embroidering today, which is um, kind of in the middle, it's a ball cap. So it's kind of in the middle between structured and unstructured, but it's still a, it's too structured to be able to embroider it um, and get a good uh, quality and be able to hoop it well with a um, flat hoop. So for that reason, we need to use the cap attachment. Generally for a hat like this, you would want to use maybe a 7511 sharp point needle or an 8012. Now if you're embroidering on a cap like this, you're definitely going to want to use an 8012 needle because it is a little bit thicker, so it's going to be able to handle this thick material a little better. One last thing I want to mention before we take it on over to the hoop is that for cap embroidery, you're going to need to tell your digitizer to digitize specifically for caps, and he or she will take certain measures to make sure that the design comes out well, even considering the curved surface of the cap attachment. Now, um, they might do things like starting um, from the bottom up or the center out, so the design I'm going to be embroidering today is this donut design, and it is digitized uh, specifically for caps, and it is from hoopmade.com, and they have a nice selection of designs, so you should go on there and check it out. Um, and now we're going to go on over to the hoop and start the cap embroidery process. All right, so the cap embroidery attachment is made up of three different parts. One part is already on the machine. It is called the cap driver, and you guys are going to see it in just a moment. This right here is the cap ring, so this is your actual cap hoop. And then this right here is just your hooping station. So this is just gonna help you get um, the curved surface of the, f of the hat nice and flat inside your hoop. So before you, anything, I'm just going to slide in my cap driver into my hoop station. As you can see, it's really easy. I'm just gonna press down until it clicks. Next, I have some tear away backing. Now this is a backing that you're gonna wanna use for your caps. Now, if you are embroidering unstructured caps, then you might want to use a cutaway if you need a little bit more support. But for this hat, I'm going to use a tearaway and I should be fine. Next up, I have my hat and what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to pull back the sweatband right here and put it right under this little notch right here. So I'm pulling back the brim so you guys can see, make sure that the sweatband goes underneath this tab. So now that we got the sweatband um, underneath the tab and we have our hoop in, I'm just holding it tightly because I want to try to reduce the amount of space between the cap and the cap station. And now I'm just going to pull this band over and get it as close as possible to the brim. And then I'm going to connect it to the clasp at the bottom. And um, for those of you who do have this cap attachment, one tip is to kind of embroider 
I'm sorry, hoop a little bit off to the left side because once you attach the hoop and it's tight in there, it's gonna shift the half just a little bit to the right. So in order to get it nice and centered, then you wanna take that extra step. So as you can see, I'm just connecting it and then I'm just gonna snap it up and it's going to be hooped. So that right there is the hooping process. Now all I have to do is just push down on these little latches and it's gonna release. And now I have my hooped cap. Last step in the hooping process is just to get some binder clips and hold down, just to hold down the excess material. And now make sure that your straps are outside because you don't want anything obstructing the sewing arm. All right, so this here is our cap attachment and all I gotta do is just insert the cap ring into the cap attachment. Now before we do that, I, wa I wanna urge you if you're gonna be working on caps for a while to make sure that you have enough bobbin because this is going to be covering your sewing arm. So just make sure you have enough bobbin so that you don't have to take out your cap and then put it back in. So I'm inserting the cap ring onto the cap driver and I'm going to um, shift the cap either to the left, I'm sorry, either to the left or to the right, uh, just to make sure that the brim doesn't hit the machine head. And now you can bring it forward. And then you're just gonna press down until it connects. All right, so one thing I didn't want to mention is that once I mounted it, I went ahead and I bent my bill forward. You can also do that after you have hooped it. This is just gonna help um, to make sure that the bill doesn't crash up against the machine head. So you wanna just bend it forward and then after that you can go ahead and bend it back and it's not gonna have any issues. All right, so I have went ahead and I have centered my design. And my design is going to be about 2.5 inches. And that's basically as high as you can go and as high as you're going to want to go because it's going to kind of fall somewhere right here. And usually we want this right here in the middle is that sweet spot. So um, the space between the brim and the um, bottom of the design is usually, should usually be about uh, half an inch. And you guys are going to see once we're done there, we have about half an inch space and then the rest is all designed. So let's go ahead and get started. And of course, one last thing to mention when embroidering flats is to lower your speed to 650 stitches per minute or less. If you have more details, then I recommend going lower. For this cap, I'm going to embroider it at 500 stitches per minute. All right, so here is the finished product and I'm extremely happy with my donut cap and I'm gonna go ahead now and wear it to the gym. All right, so there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. And I also wanted to take the time to invite you guys to our Facebook group, Embroidery and Custom Apparel Mastery. In there, you can chat with me and thousands of other embroiderers. You can ask any questions that you have. You can share any tips. So I highly recommend joining. I have linked the group below and one last thing before we go I just want to urge you guys to sign up for our newsletter because you will get um, our content emailed to your inbox so that way you won't miss a thing all right guys uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next show bye